Hi everybody, welcome back. And today's we're gonna to walk you through how to take a simple sketch and convert it into a vector illustration using Adobe Illustrator. Uh, it doesn't matter what you're using. Uh, for my uh, demonstration here, I'm just using a drawing I did in Procreate. Uh, you can see that right here. It is really cold here. Uh, we're in the negatives all week uh, here in the Midwest. So I thought no better to illustrate a uh, sick bundle up version of Ron Swanson. Uh, I absolutely love this, uh, this picture of him from Parks and Rec. So we're gonna take this illustration that I illustrated in Procreate and drop it into Illustrator and convert it to a vector illustration. So what exactly is a vector illustration? Uh, basically there's two different types of illustration. There's a vector and then there's a raster. A raster is just pixel based. Uh, if you can see that, if you if we take and we zoom into this illustration that I've done of Ron Swanson and blow it up really big, you can start to see some of the, the chunky pixels that start to happen when you start getting a little too large. Uh, with vector-based illustration, it's all based off of math and paths and shapes. After converting this illustration to a vector illustration, you can make it as small or as large as you want without any loss of quality or degradation or any kind of pixelation. So our next step is to jump into Adobe Illustrator and we're gonna walk through the, the simple steps of converting our raster illustration into a vector illustration. All right, so jumping into Adobe Illustrator here, I'm gonna go ahead and load up a illustration I did in Procreate of the wonderful Ron Swanson, all bundled up, uh, looking cold. And uh, I picked this illustration in particular because it had a lot of uh, grit and grain and textures. I wanted to show that you can actually expand and turn this raster image into a uh, vector image pretty easily. So in order to uh, kind of demonstrate how a raster illustration scales, I'll take this illustration and I'm gonna blow it up really big. Then we're gonna take a look at how that how that may look and how the uh, image starts to kind of break down a little bit. And I think this is a pretty large image, so it's gonna take quite a bit for it to start to break down. But I'll keep making it bigger and bigger here. This is fairly large, but as you can see, some of these edges start to kind of pixelate and get kind of kind of gross. But uh, I mean, there's a little bit of texture involved, but there's there's a limit on how far you can uh, enlarge a raster image and still retain a decent quality. And if you're trying to blow this up and put it on the side of a bus or a, a billboard or, or something really large, um, it really starts to break down the the bigger you, you stretch this image. So to start out, what we're gonna do is we're gonna highlight our image that we we're wanting to vectorize. And we're gonna to go to the top here and select image trace. And there's a lot of points here to keep in mind. So it may keep the, uh, or it may make the, the computer a little bit slower. So go ahead and hit, go ahead and select okay. So this is what it looks like right out of the gate. It's knocked down a lot of the detail, but we can actually go in and bring some of that back. So after we've, hit image trace, there's a little button up here with little check marks that says image trace panel. Go ahead and select that. Here we can really dial in the contrast and really bring back some of those details. So uh, you can play with the threshold here. And it's gonna take a little while because there's a lot of points it's gotta bring up. But moving the threshold to the right is going to bring in some of those details a little bit more and add a little bit more into the blacks. That's looking pretty good. We're gonna add a few more paths at 100% corners 100% just to get all of the detail in there. Noise, we're going to go to 1. And that'll bring back almost all of the original detail that we had in our original sketch there. So we also want to turn off snap curves to lines. And we also want to select ignore white. So basically, it'll only retain the information that's black. And after doing that, it added a little bit more contrast than I would like, so I'm gonna bring back some of that threshold just a hair. Okay, I think that's looking pretty good. So once you have your image dialed into about where you would like it, go ahead up to the top here and select Expand. And that's literally all there is to it. You should be left with a outlined vector image. Um, all the whites will now be knocked out. So I think I'll go ahead and draw a box here and make it blue for the uh, cold. Right click, uh, range, send it back. 
And as you can see, the black has been retained, but every, anything that was white is no longer no longer there. So it's uh, it's transparent, or there, there's actually no information there. Uh, now you, and now you have a, a sketch that's turned into a vector. So now you can kind of go in and start to to play with some of the colors because it's all all one vector shape. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you got any value, be sure to subscribe and like. Uh, it really helps me out a lot. If you have any suggestions for future videos, be sure to leave a comment down below and uh, I enjoy reading and answering all those questions. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.